So you're seeing a patient with deteriorating renal function. This could be acute kidney injury type picture, it could be more chronic renal failure type picture. But think about three key categories and think about what could be going on in this scenario. You've got pre-renal problems, problems before the kidney, you've got renal problems, so problems within the kidney, and you've got post-renal problems, so problems after the kidney itself. If you look at pre-renal causes first, this could be stuff like reduced cardiac output, things like heart failure, liver failure, sepsis, for example. It could be things like hypovolemia, so bleeding or burns, for example. These tend to cause your more acute kidney injury pictures. Then you've got your problems within the kidney itself. Now, these could be conditions that cause, that affect the kidney as well as other parts of the body, things like diabetes, things like hypertension, myeloma perhaps, but it could be things that more predominantly affect the kidneys, but of course could affect other parts of the body as well, but things like gomeri nephritis, things like interstitial nephritis, things like polycystic kidney disease, for example, and a whole list of medications that can cause kidney problems, but things like ACE inhibitors, things like NSAIDs, things like lithium, things like aminoglycosides, gentamicin, for example, can cause renal causes. Then you've got your post-renal causes. This is basically when you get outflow obstruction of urine due to various things, things like prostate problems, BPH or prostate cancer. It could be things like renal stones. It could be things like pelvic masses. And it could be things like blocked urinary catheters as well. So a variety of causes. Split it first into a more acute or chronic picture, and then try and think of it in terms of pre-renal, renal, or post-renal causes. Hope this helps.